Hey everyone, I just thought I'd make a quick update video on the progress I'm making on my new minecart station. And what I wanted to show you today is what I think will be the finalized design for my new arrival bay. Now what I've done is I've taken the simple minecart stop design from my previous video and it uses these two pistons in the back to propel the cart out of the bay in this direction. Now what I've added here though is this third piston right here. And this piston's job is to push the player out of the track area if they've gotten out of the cart and keep them out of the track area so they don't come in and disrupt any other incoming carts. Uh, so I can demonstrate this right now. I'll put this glass here to cover up the bay. Again, the cart. And on to the left of me here when I arrive is a stone pressure plate. And if I stand on it, you can see that the piston gets engaged and as long as I'm on the plate, I can't get back into the track area. I'm basically forced to exit this uh, doorway here, and you see this door closes as well, and I really can't get back in now. I'll try this one more time, but I'll do something a little different. I'm going to just get out of the cart, but I'll just stand in the track area. I don't really want to exit, basically. You'll see, after an amount of time, the piston also gets engaged automatically, uh, even if I'm not on the plate. And I'll try one more time here, but this time this is the uh, this time I will uh, stay in the cart. And because I'm attached to the cart, I get propelled with it and out over to the next destination. So the circuitry for this bay is pretty straightforward. Uh, basically, it's this one long delay that goes around the outside. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simulate a cart coming to the bay so you can see the signal. So push that. So there's a signal going around. It hits the chime there. And after the chime, it reaches this part where it gets split into three different signals. The first signal the, on the bottom here powers the, uh, uh, these two rear pistons. The, one, the signal on the top here powers the third piston, which is right there. And this one in the middle uh, powers the reset signal for the RS NOR latch, which is this L sh upside down L shape that you see right here. And the, what this RS NOR latch is supposed to do is power this switch uh, right outside the bay when, you, when the cart comes in. Uh, so basically, uh, when a cart arrives, I can show you here, the switch gets engaged, preventing other carts from going into the bay since the bay is now occupied. And after a while, the switch gets changed back. So the whole reason for the switching mechanism, and also the whole reason why I've made this bay so elongated, like it's only about five blocks wide here, is because I want to be able to put these bays next to each other, side by side. You can see that set up over here. So what I've got here is these three arrival bays next to each other. Uh, this one is uh, serviced by this platform here. And these two arrival bays are serviced by this single platform here. And what I'm going to demonstrate here is what happens if I have four carts coming into the bay at once. So I have three arrival bays and four carts. Now I'm going to get down here and push this button to show you. So you'll see that the three minecarts got into the bays, and this fourth minecart on the bottom uh, is waiting for the one of the bays to become vacant, and it got a vacancy right there, and now it's going to make its way off there. Because they're empty, they get switched off by this uh, empty cart detector, and in this demonstration they get thrown into lava. But if the carts were full, then they go off to the next station uh, as normal. So uh, yeah, that's all I really wanted to show you. Uh, the arrival bays are pretty much done, and I'll be moving on to other components in future videos. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.